the FC Tulsa lineup and a couple of changes. Uh, Tete can't play at the back, but a good replacement in Bradley Bouchoir. Rias Novo play here at one at field before, and he is a class act. FC Tulsa with Segrist there, just getting a foot in the left back for FC Tulsa. They come forward again down the center of the field. Slipped in and a goal! Oh, it's a goal in 52 seconds! And it's that man we highlighted at the beginning of the show. It's Stefan Stoyanovic. And it only takes 52 seconds for FC Tulsa to open their scoring at one oak field. It's FC Tulsa 1, Phoenix Rising FC 0. Home, a wonderful assist. The vision here driving through Delu, understanding the run. Stoyanovic continuing it forward. Unbelievable play from FC Tulsa. The one-time finish right past Rios. And here's Portillo. Segrist wide on the left-hand side. Le likes to get forward from the left-back spot. That's gone all the way from left-back to right-back. Rogers, good ball into the box. Glancing at her. Ball loose. Across goal. It goes somehow across goal with nobody touching it. Still FC Tulsa. But was there a shout for a penalty? Has a car up the line there to Quasho. And there's a real chance. It was a giveaway. And it was head in hands time for Stefan Sojanovic, he wanted a second on the night, but just didn't catch it right. I think he was just as surprised as we were that he had the ball that close to goal running on frame. Would have liked to have that one back. Sojanovic played in the Greek Super League. Getting some accolades down there, and he did score the first goal of the season for FC Tulsa. The first of three in a 3-1 win in Vegas. Dalu, ball worked out here to Rogers. Can he get a decent ball in? It comes off the defender. There's a header straight into the arms of the keeper. That is a real chance again for FC's Tulsa, FD Tulsa's number 19, Stefan Sojanovic. Anna Beffa, what an, what an opportunity. We've seen him float into those spaces. He knows where to be, obviously has the goal so far tonight for FC Tulsa, but what makes him so dangerous is his ability off the ball as well. And we've seen him find those areas and be. Las Vegas got down the right-hand side and produced a wonderful ball in for the goal for Sojanovic. Here's Segrist. Now shot from Lasso towards goal. Good save by the goalkeeper, Ria Snovo. Lasso caught that one pretty well. Still they come, here's Ferry. It's hardly been a foul in this game. Here's Segrist. Lasso had that shot from a long way out, but the keeper was equal to it. Here's Rogers. FC Tulsa's ball into the box, headed away, headed down. And now the away side can come forward. Still no foul. It's been a clean game, well fought. Now they come forward. Can they make something happen here? There's a lovely ball into the box. Out comes Joey Rogovin, and the referee points straight to the penalty spot. And we just said, Anna Beffer, how quickly this game can change. And with seven minutes to go to half time, Cabral has a real opportunity here for his side to get back on level terms. He waits, referee blows his whistle, comes up, right footed, and scores. Rogovin went the right way, but Cabral scores. And we are level, it's FC Tulsa 1, Phoenix Rising FC 1. Cool penalty kick taken by Cabral as Rogovin tries. Who will be buoyed by that goal from the penalty spot. Sometimes you just have to get in the game in some way and they've got it. Now there's a real chance in the box here and there's a goal! It's two and a couple of minutes for Cabral from the penalty spot. And now he scores from the six yard line. And with three minutes to go, the game has turned on its head. It's FC Tulsa one, Phoenix Rising FC two. Last few minutes, we'll get another look at the replay. Phoenix Rising, great build up, good chip over the top, thoughtful touch into Cabral. It has, it's, it's been a quality match so far and you knew it would be with the quality that Phoenix Rising FC has coming off of a really successful season, as we've mentioned. 
didn't have the start that they wanted to, but they wanted to come back in, come to FC Tulsa and make a statement. They haven't. No, here's Sujanovic. Going to be 2-2 before half time. Oh, it's a good save from the goalkeeper. So Yelovich had a real chance to level the game up, and you have to say that is a very fine piece of goalkeeping. Doesn't matter how you save it as a goalkeeper, does it? Uh, he sol solved it with his, uh, saved it with his left foot, and Mr. Corrigan, the referee, brings proceedings to the end here in the first half. And a Beffy, your first look at him tonight. Yeah, he's been really impactful. The ball over the top here. So Yelovic is in there. He gets a shot, and it's going to go away for a goal kick Segrist and Deleuze share a one-two that was good play here's Segrist into the box Diallo's there Diallo has won a corner for FC Tulsa referee looked at his linesman referee much closer and Diallo will just leave the ball here for Justin Portillo Portillo somewhat of a legend at New Mexico and of course X Charleston Battery, Real Monarchs and Real Salt Lake. Here he is for FC Tulsa, the 31-year-old. In swinger, corner, good one, head a goal! What a corner! From Justin Portillo, what a header from Edwin Lasser, the Colombian, the newest recruit. And it's only taken four and a half minutes and FC Tulsa are back on level terms. FC Tulsa two, Phoenix Rising FC two. Uh, but he's also of Greek descent, so he's actually got uh, three opportunities <laughs> internationally. Great servant to now Stoyanovic is here, and he just couldn't get it over the top of the goalkeeper. And you have to say that Phoenix Rising FC have given Stoyanovic himself three opportunities tonight. They have, and when you have a forward like Stoyanovic, that's what makes him dangerous as well because he's anticipating those mistakes to happen. So he's already there, he's already on it, trying to make something happen out of nothing. Has been a bit unlucky in those moments, but you can see how dangerous he can be with the anticipation. Will it be the same thing again? Or if FC Tulsa got something else up their sleeve? Here's the ball from Portillo, it's another good one. There's a flick tenner and another goal! Would you believe it? FC Tulsa score again from a corner. And this time it's Alex Sawahi up from the back. Portillo the assister. FC Tulsa three. Phoenix rising. FC two. Portillo with two unbelievable displays of delivery here and FC Tulsa powerful headers to go with it and Sawahi on the end of that one what a game of football we're seeing we're hoping you're enjoying this as much as we are here on ESPN plus Cox 93 locally and on your view thank you for joining us and what a game well Mario Sanchez said he wanted to entertain he said we're in the entertainment business this is entertainment of the highest quality want to come back to that last goal in just a moment and, and ask Anna, as the analyst, a, a question. My boy up to Segris. Segris gives it away to Dorotioto. Now a chance for a shot on goal. There's a curling shot, but it's way, way wide. It was Quasho who had the disappointing effort. With just the momentum coming in, it just takes a touch, and right there, you're right, tactically not favorable for Phoenix Rising FC, but FC Tulsa able to execute in those big moments. Now there'll be a yellow card. Oh, uh, there's a red card from the referee. Well, I was just uh, going to say it was going to be a yellow card. Has come on for FC Tulsa. Wearing 11. Blaine Ferry. Switches the ball to Segrist. Segrist will go back here to Lasso. Who try one? Oh, he's hit the bar. Well, the goalkeeper stood and watched it and will be mightily relieved. Look at this for a strike. Great ball laid off. Sets himself up nicely with his first touch and then just completely unleashes. Extend their lead, but we'll see a few substitutions here and maybe a familiar face 
for FC Tulsa folks as Gabby Torres checks in, former FC Tulsa player. Hernandez also checks in. From Justin Portillo, corners. There is Portillo in the action. Lasso to Milo Yosef. Yosef's a very good player to bring on at this time in the game. Bags of energy, Anna, and playing down that left-hand side, he'll give Phoenix Rising's Lawrence White something to think about. Here's Rogers twisting and turning. Portillo into the box, and there's Miley Yosef, and he's just sliced it wide from six yards out. White says to the assistant, why didn't you raise the flag? I think he made a perfect run through, but he'll be disappointed by his own standards. Unbelievable vision and ball from Portillo. That diagonal on the backside, and Yosef opts for power, swings all the way through. In that moment, just the instep, redirect that ball back on frame, force. Three goals to two. Jose Hernandez, good ball into the box. There's a handball. The referee has spotted that one, and he's going to give a yellow card, I believe. Yellow card will be shown to Stenberg. In fact, he's shown it, and I think he's given a penalty kick. What a game we're seeing. Is there more drama here for Mella? Comes up, right-footed, and dinks it into the goal. That's a very, very great finish. And so why he quickly gets the ball and wants the 11 men of FC Tulsa to take it back now to the 10 of Phoenix Rising FC. The coach there, Danny Stone, involved in the celebrations. Phoenix Rising FC has done a great job weathering the storm. And the referee does bring this pulsating game to an end it finishes 3-3